Не. 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 Yeah. It's fucking rustling and rattling. Man, it's rustling and rattling everywhere. Fucking shut the fuck up. <sighs> stop fucking moving. Stop moving. Everyone stop moving around. Everyone just keeps moving around. It's making my fucking brain irritated. So fucking stop moving around. Fuck. Because I can't fucking think, I can't talk. Fuck. You're gonna fucking look at me weird, aren't you, you fucks? You're gonna fucking look at me weird. Jesus fucking Christ. I fucking see what I gotta deal with, man. My fucking brain hurts, man. Been walking around this fucking engulfing fucking breakfast burritos and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the potato, dude. That potato is absolutely fucking phenomenal. Fucking phenomenal. Starch. Starch. You start your day with starch. If you're feeling parched, get some starch. Have a laugh. That's all you can do. You can look at my shoe. You can do a poo and an igloo to chill the fuck out. But I don't know, man. I'm not here for clout. I'm not here for charity. I don't know what I'm here for. I'm here for the simple reason of being here. I didn't put myself here, this this giant igloo of a of a mansion came crashing on top of me and I didn't leave. So that's what I'm doing here. And let me just tell you it's a beautiful day, man. I'm really excited about today and I'm really happy about this next phase of my life i'm coming to the end of a traveling trip it's been about two months i've been traveling around asia and uh, i'm in pi and it's a lovely little town and i've just been walking around pi um you know just chilling there's not much more to say but there's a there's a swimming pool. I'm very, um, I'm living it up, to be honest with you right now. Like, this is, this is going to come to an end soon. It's back to reality, back to the growing, back to the daily life, man. And back to working, back to the shit fight. Oh, well. Oh, freaking well. It's all good. I'm going out again on the road again. I'm gonna go on the road again. Gotta go on the road again. <sighs> what else has been going on? Man, that freaking Crystalia guy is fucking gnarly. I personally like um, Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn's my man, you know. Like that guy is just hilarious, top-notch comedian, and just a good guy as well. And I like the way he uses words, the way he does. You know, it's a very unique style of talking. I like the topics he covers. For example, race. You know, I think that he has conversations with other races that people have been too scared to have. And uh, I find it very interesting. I find it captivating. Um... <clears throat> Another 
another thing I've been watching is uh, Vixen Porn. You know that company Vixen? Where they just... It's like rich fantasies. It's like the freaking fashion model fantasies and billionaire fantasies, you know, just fucking and fucking pools overlooking ocean. And it's always in swimming pools <laughs> and photo shoots. And it's pretty funny, to be honest, but, you know, I watched that this morning and last night, and it's disgusting. And I'm very ashamed of myself for doing such a horrible thing to my body. But, um, you know, when you don't have that that other partner to rub up against, then you're, um, you're left to your own devices. And if you're left to your own devices, then you got the internet at the tip of your fingers, then what do you think is going to happen? Especially if you're all alone, you got a room on your own. What the hell do you think is going to happen, you know what I mean? But I like to tell myself that I'm alone by choice. And I'm actually not alone. I have... I have females that I can call upon, you know, when I'm at home, not to sound like a freaking dickhead, but I like to be alone, I like to be alone, and it's, it's, it's something that sort of scares me, because... I don't want to be alone. You know, I don't want to be that alone old guy. Right now, I'm fairly young. You know, I'm not that young. I'm like late twenties, late twenties. Um, I'm old to be doing certain things. You know, and I'm just chasing that that success or whatever. I'm trying to. I'm trying to build up my uh, my fan base. You know, I've been a musician for a long time. I've done the rounds, you know, and um, just the the marketing itself. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this. It hurts my head. It makes me fucking angry because I don't think. I don't know, man. What? You know, I think I made some weird choices in the past. And these choices have damaged my confidence in showing, showcasing the art and being the face behind it. Because, you know, I feel like it's two different people. Like, I don't want to, um,. People know me in day-to-day life, you know, as something. But then I see this other person, the art person, the music person, the the person behind, you know, the words in the songs, the feelings in the songs, the vibes of the songs. That guy, you know, it's just, it's almost, a, it's, it's not imaginary, it's real to me. It's completely and utterly real. And, uh, you know, you can live in fear. And I think what I'm doing here with this conversation is trying to eradicate the fear of progressing. Because I think I'm living in fear. And that's a bitch move, and fuck that. If you understand what I mean. I don't want to live in fear. I do not want to live in fear. But at the same time, I don't want to get fucking mauled by a dinosaur. You know? We've all been there. We've all been close to the dinosaur mall. Mall. 
the mall of the dinosaur. Some people call it the mall of the dinosaur. I call it the dinosaur mall. Some people call it the mall. I call it the whole bowl. I eat the whole bowl of the moles. I don't eat cereal, I eat moles for breakfast. Like the moles that dig underground. And the moles on your face. There's a new, there's a new cereal, uh, Molios, where they combine the moles from skin, human skin, with the with the organs and ligaments of living moles that dig through the earth and rot, not rot, well they rot when they die and they're left in the earth, but they don't rot here, they're kept fresh. They dry them out to make them crispy and you just pour it into your bowl and it's a delicious molio soul. You eat that mole soul, you know what I mean? You get that, you get that burger, you get that burger and you, you bite the bitch's head off. You bite the bitch's head off. And then when, you know, they're triggered and they're set off, then you bite the bitch's head off again. Okay? Now, today is a beautiful day to be alive. There's sun, there's signs, there's mines, there's highs, there's lows, there's hair on my face. There's hair around my nipples and there's hair actually under my belly button. It's a hairy patch. And there's actually hairs on my my chest, but I don't have a hairy chest, but there's it's sprouting. It's like it's like puberty is a lifelong process. Maybe by the time I'm forty I'll have that hairy chest. But for the time being I've got that patchy I could probably count them. I mean there's more than twenty, but there's um there's probably Less than a hundred. At least less than two hundred. But we're not talking around the nipples. Around the nipples, dude. For some reason, it's hairy. Maybe I could take a picture and share it with you. If you want that. If you want that. If you want a picture of my nipples. My hairy nipples. Just leave it Leave it in the comment section. And um, I'll hit you up on the DMs. If you know what I'm talking about. Hey man, it could be the start of something beautiful. It could be the start of a great relationship of nipple, nipple admiration. Everyone admires a good nipple. Everybody loves a good nipple. I actually hate the word nipple though. I used to, like sometimes, when pe- some certain people say nipple, it, it, it bugs me, it irks me, it fucking... Like, don't say that, dude. It fucking sounds gross. It makes me... Ugh. But at the same time, everyone loves a good nipple. Everyone is captivated by nipples, male, female. Male have more liberty with their nipples. Men can men can parade around town with their nipples fucking showing. And you know, no one bats an eyelid unless they got unless they got particularly peculiar nipples. Then and only then. Then and only then does it raise, does it arouse suspicion and generate attention. But if they're, um, if they're generally regular nipples, dude, no one's gonna freaking bat an eyelid. You know what I'm saying? The shit's gonna be fucking regular. It's regulated. It's Warren G, boy. Shoot the runner, shoot, shoot the runner. I'm the king and she's my queen, bitch. Shoot the runner, shoot, shoot the runner. Do you eat, eat, fuck. Drink garana, drink, drink garana. I'm the king and she's my queen, bitch. Shoot garana, shoot, shoot garana. You know, banana, the banana rama. The banana rama is high on garama. Garana. Man, I had some good ones this morning. I forgot about. Fuck. 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 Tooth and ear souvenir. You got that tooth and ear souvenir. To shoot a deer. I got to shoot a deer with a tooth and ear. I got to shoot a deer to get that tooth and ear souvenir. 
You're in the clear. I don't want to see your fear with a tooth and ear souvenir. Nah, nah, nah. Anyway, uh, there should be more options. There should be more words. Now I'm thinking though, it's not flowing. It's like high five growing. It's an interesting time, isn't it? It's an interesting time. Like podcasts. Podcasts are pretty weird. It's like a weird fucking flash flood of podcasters. And it's almost become very, very regular. Um, Like you have to, like it's part of being a human. Like just talking, recording it and putting it out there. What is that? Why are we broadcasting ourselves? We're all the stars. We're all stars now. There's no select few. It's all of us. No matter what you do. And it's just so accessible, you know? Like, to make a video, to make movies, everyone can edit now. Everyone can edit, everyone can film, everyone can take pictures, and it's it's interesting. I guess what gives me, like, peace of mind is that the cream will always rise. I, I hope, I hope so. Like, it'll be the best that we, that... Like, there will be people who get the credit they deserve because they have something that others don't, even though we all have access to the same sort of things. Um, Because when I was a kid, like, I wanted to, like, do stuff with video cameras and, and stuff, but I never had a video camera until later. And then, like, I just sort of didn't do it I did it half arsedly and then when all these apps started coming out I was like man now they're taking the fun out of it because everyone's doing it but really I shouldn't have been thinking like that that's unhealthy the truth is I just wasn't very good at it or I just didn't have the um, the, the intelligence to take advantage of it and get my ideas up because my ideas were the the stream stops the stream stops i think that what it was was my mind was using all its resources on just surviving like i think that perhaps i was focusing on really weird things like within people and groups and and giving it way much way too much importance and i wasn't focusing i lost my focus i lost the eye on the prize so i was focusing on like just silly shit dude where um it wasn't gonna lead anywhere Whereas if I just kept my focus on, you know, being the best I could be at whatever I chose, you know, I got distracted, like, by social situations, like, which is something I always wanted to avoid. But the the way it went is, like, the people I was, you know, trying to achieve this with, they... They found it to be the right decision to to partake in sort of some social things where it could have been a waste of energy, but at the same time you know it's it is all about community like you can't do this alone, you need the community, so I see why it's not a waste of time, but you can't when you're in those social situations you can't. You can't lose, you know, your footing. You need to stay strong. You need to remember what you went there for. And you need to get the job done. Number one, you need to get the job done first. You need to take care of business. And then, once all that's done, then you can chill out. But listen, you don't chill out for very long. That's the thing. You gotta be, you gotta be on your grind every day. You gotta stay fresh. Or your brain just turns to mush, man, and you turn useless and you just fall off. 
So make sure you stay on top of things. And I can't stress that enough. Stay on your grind. Alright, I'm going to stop now. Bada bing, bada boom.